Welcome everyone and thanks for being here. I wish we could be doing this in person because uh, I believe that it's our personal attention that makes us special and different. Uh, if you were in the Buck Building right now and you could see our kids working with your kids, I'm confident you would see some qualities that we have nurtured in them that you would want to see in your, own child's in your own child's growth. A school's culture, its personality, if you will, is the most important characteristic you will notice as you visit schools, even virtually, I hope. And I hope this morning in this new way of communicating that I can help you to see ours. So today we'll talk a little bit about mission, skills, and some program detail, because our mission tells you what our values are. When I say values, I mean every adult that we hire, from your child's science teacher to our controller in the business office to the director of our food services. All of them should share in our mission and in our values. The skills we teach indicate what we should expect a graduate to look like when they complete their time at Hun. And third, I'll, I'll give you some details about our program, academic, athletic, and the arts, and a few signature programs that we believe are very special to Hun. There's some key words in our mission statement that we carefully selected after weeks, maybe months of debate. The first is empowers. I've always believed that great schools empower students by putting them at the center of the room, not the back of the room. Many of our classes are taught using the Harkness method, a discussion-based protocol where students and teachers explore ideas collaboratively around a large oval table. Every voice carries equal weight and students learn to articulate, listen, and disagree with respect. In this way, we empower students to be in charge of their learning in every class and pretty much every day. The second important phrase is ever-changing. We know that the world is updating faster than most people can keep up with. The purpose of school used to be to prepare students for the workforce, and you could argue that this is still somewhat true today. It's just that CEOs of successful companies tell us that the skill set required for tomorrow is different. It is now one that is less job specific and more specific to mindsets, ways of thinking, and skills that you'll see on the next slide. And the final word is joyful. It is clear that students learn better when they are happy and feel safe and feel known. This is an important component of our unique recipe. With 112 students and about 20 adults in the building, there's always an adult for your child to laugh with, even while pursuing advanced math, coding, art, or exploring their own strengths in our advisory program. So the skills we value, the seven skills, are creativity, how to make something new and unique, leadership, <clears throat> how to positively influence others, critical thinking, how to analyze, synthesize, compare, contrast, postulate, cultural competency, how to empathize and succeed in any country, culture, ethical decision-making, how to decide what is the right thing to do, effective communication, how to present views in a way that will be understood by the receiver, and problem solving, how to work in groups to get important work done. Now I'm gonna relate a personal story uh, to sort of have you see how these skills have uh, come to bear uh, for my own son, a Hun graduate, class of 2016. He's studying mechanical engineering in college right now and is on a co-op job in upstate New York, where even though everyone now is working from home, they've dropped their current for-profit projects and at the request of the University of Minnesota, have developed a public domain motor that will power a type of ventilator used by emergency medical personnel one that used to be powered manually. You can certainly see some of these Hun skills being applied at this important time. School year is divided into trimesters, largely because it paces our academic calendar in a way that is right for middle schoolers. In addition, each trimester culminates in some sort of feedback and reflection loop. Reflection is an important component of our advisory, academic, athletic, and art programs, and we build in time for both formal and informal reflection opportunities. Students who master this skill are proven to be more resilient, more positive, more aware of their own strengths and areas for growth, and are more academically successful. The fall semester 
The fall, the fall trimester ends at Thanksgiving with parent-teacher conferences. The winter trimester ends with a period of learning about how to prepare for exams in a healthy and successful way and the exams themselves, and then flows into flex days, a two to three day experiential learning course I'll tell you more about in a moment. The spring semester is a time when students and their advisors are planning for their student-led conferences, a rehearsed self-assessment of their work and growth for the year. At this time, students lead a meeting between their parent and guardian and themselves and reflect on their academic and social emotional growth. The core curriculum is divided into the five traditional disciplines. In mathematics, we have four courses that students can take over a three year period. They'll take three of the four and students are placed based on their history, based on what their record states about the mathematics that they've taken or the results of a placement test if they feel they need to move ahead. Sixth graders will take pre-algebra one or two, seventh graders pre-algebra two or algebra, and eighth graders typically algebra or geometry. The science program covers earth science, life science, chemistry and physics, and is laboratory and outdoor based. Our social studies and English language arts curriculum are linked so that sixth graders read literature about journeys that are connected with the ancient studies of Rome, Greece, Mesopotamia, and the Middle East. Our seventh graders, American history, as it is linked to American historical fiction and poetry. And our eighth graders, a world cultures and geography course linked to world and multicultural literature. Students have two art semesters per year. Students who play an instrument may be in the orchestra, but we also offer chorus, theater arts, which is an, an introduction to acting and set design, art and design, which links the art and engineering processes, and sculpture. Students also take four electives per year. Some of them are required, like study strategies for grade six, wellness for grades seven and eight, and music for all students who are not in the orchestra. But students have the option of choosing other electives, such as coding, drawing, speech and debate, journalism, which produces a quarterly school newspaper, painting, digital photography, printmaking, robotics, and videography, which produces a weekly middle school news show. Our athletic program offers options for students in all three seasons. There's a three season athletic requirement, which includes games that are after school or into the early evening on occasion. Students participate in athletics during the school day between two o'clock and 3.15 p.m. in the afternoon. I'd like to tell you about three of our signature programs. The first one is called the Hunway and it constitutes the first week of school. This is a game changing orientation program that offers a blend of team building, cultural competency, and positive psychology learning through a series of engaging activities and discussions. The program was designed to build authentic community and to equip students with a deeper understanding of their common ground, their individual strengths, as well as their differences. The team building component begins with the retreat to Camp Bernie, where students engage in low and high ropes courses challenges fun problem solving, and discussions about their approaches to solving these problems. Upon returning to Hun, the next few days build upon this work, with part of the day devoted to team building events such as Escape the Room and art projects that build community both in their grade level groups and in their advisory families with their advisors. Diversity can take many different forms, and through the cultural competency component, we discuss a range of topics so that we can better understand each other's identities. The major goal of our time together is to pre prepare students for a global world, build confidence for later in life, foster creativity, promote empathy and reduce biases and prejudice. Students and teachers work on challenging activities and engage in discussions about race, religion, gender, sexuality, and other qualities that we have or don't have in common. The third component, an introduction to the positive education program, 
is a widely acclaimed skills-based curriculum developed locally by Proof Positive here in Princeton and based on research done at the University of Pennsylvania by psychologist Martin Seligman. Students complete an online strengths assessment and practice specific skills to help them be more resilient, more supportive of others, more academically successful, and happier. The outcomes of this program are measurable. Students know each other and all middle school teachers better. Teachers know all students instead of just the ones they advise, coach, or teach. And students get to work with students that they don't have advisory or classes with. Students have a better understanding of their common qualities and their differences in many different arenas. Students are more likely to intervene when they sense conflict between peers. They know their personal strengths and how to assess them, and they learn that their well-being is in their control. Students gain new skills in staying positive and helping themselves and others to grow. The second signature program is more academic, debate. All middle school students participate in the Mud Week debate tournaments twice per year. Debate skills serve students in all areas of academic life, and so each student will learn to research a topic, formulate arguments, and consider contentions to organize his or her case with clarity. Also, students will practice speaking publicly, persuading others, and engaging in active listening through practice and debate competitions. Speech and debate competitions help students see the value of academic research but it also prepares them for greater participation in classroom discussions and activities. Students begin to differentiate the quality of sources and the validity of information, truly important in this day and age. They learn to question and test information, and they start to understand the nuances of information in the world around them. Additionally, the debate club gives those students who self-identify as competitive debaters further opportunities for speech and debate competition. As a member team of the Garden State Debate League, the Hunt School competes against seven other middle school teams during four debate tournaments held throughout the year. Lastly, Flex Days are a two to three day mini course that allows kids to take an academic break and explore one single topic for all of the two to three day period. These courses change from year to year and are experiential and real world in nature usually involving a connection with an outside institution or expert. They are often centered around an essential question or a problem or a public policy issue. Flex days end with a student-run expo where students can demonstrate their knowledge gained in their course and practice their presentation and leadership skills. Lastly, because we hope you'll be in the Hun community through upper school and beyond, I want to tell you about the upper school's next term. For three weeks each May, Hun freshmen, sophomores, and juniors participate in a travel-based immersion learning experience designed to offer a deep exploration of real-world topics. Next-term courses are project-based, four-credit courses that fall outside the constraints of traditional disciplines. In grade nine, students have a community experience and a course that takes them into the greater New Jersey area and as far as New York and Philadelphia. In grades 10 and 11, students choose from a menu of local experiences with some travel and global experiences that are travel-based and far-reaching. And seniors continue to execute capstone projects as they have for many years, independently with guidance from a faculty advisor and an expert mentor or employer. The 10th and 11th grade courses could take students to the South to trace the steps of Martin Luther King Jr or into Trenton to learn about food insecurity, to the Lakota Nation Reservation in southwestern United States, or to France to study that country's treatment of minorities during World War II. An innovative and progressive school like Hun demands a different sort of student-teacher relationship, one of partnership and shared inquiry. Our faculty are expert educators, passionate about their subject matter. It matters to them that students are engaged, active participants in the work, which means the classroom discussions are lively and challenging. They also care deeply about the interests and achievements of each student, which is reflected in the many one-to-one -one conversations your child will have and in the thoughtful planning our teachers put into each and every day. 
The frequent interaction between students and teacher advisors is one of the hallmarks of our school. Faculty members want to help students succeed, and students are driven to seek out faculty to make that possible. It's because of this distinctive culture that students develop strong relationships with faculty, which often extend beyond their years at Hunt. Our teachers love this age group, and we enjoy every moment we spend with your children. If you have any other questions, feel free to call me at Hun or email me at kenweinstein at hunschool.org. All of my phone messages will be forwarded to my email and I'll be able to respond from up here in New Hampshire. Enjoy the weekend.